I was a child of the Depression and World War II. And because of the circumstances, at a very early age, I was exposed to the helping, lending a hand to those in need. She's just one of those incredibly interesting, caring, selfless people uh, that you really probably only meet once or twice in a lifetime. Addie Ward is an inspiration. She is a role model. She is kind and thoughtful and purposeful. The Adelaide Sea Ward Women's Heart Center is a physical presence. It's a beautiful site in our hospital where women and their families and their physicians and our team members can be together and talk about their heart health. It's also a virtual program, so it's both. It's programming, it's education, and it's a site in our hospital. When I think about Addie Ward, I think about the day she said, I want to support the University of Kansas Hospital. The reason I want to do this is that this hospital has provided tremendous care to me when I was in need. When she came into our hospital for open heart surgery, I think we did provide great care to her. Of course we would do that. And she said, I want to give back. I was totally shocked. I had no idea. I had no symptoms other than the fatigue, and I just thought it was old age. But she had been minimizing her symptoms. She just needed a way to get in and get talking to someone about her heart in particular to make her aware that her symptoms were related to coronary artery disease. Programs like this need a champion in the community so that the community realizes that this could happen to anyone and to have an example of almost like a cheerleader for the community to say, listen, this happened to me, you can get this treated, get your heart disease diagnosed and treated. Her recognition and, and role in the community has really raised the scope of the program. Uh, so when you think of Eddie Ward, a lot of people look at her as a role model and her willingness to talk about women's heart health has been saving lives every day. We caught some early coronary artery disease or early findings and one woman ended up getting an aortic valve replacement, one woman ended up getting an aortic root replacement just from our screening and, and talking in the community. If you can make these messages multi-generational, that appeals to women. We are caregivers, we are mothers, we are teachers, we are grandmothers, we are aunts, and we have daughters and granddaughters and nieces and friends. We really like the heart here, and this is the Addie Ward Heart Center. I love the fact that we now are educating the Girl Scouts about the importance of being healthy and having a healthy heart. What a great time to start. I think it's a marvelous idea. I think the younger that they're exposed to the education of eating well and exercising and just being aware, which I was not at all. I had no idea that there were things that I probably was doing that caused me to have a quadruple bypass, which was a shock. Now, I'd say with ongoing support for Maddie Ward and the support of the program in general, you know, the sky's the limit for the program. Uh, we have an opportunity to expand in our role in prevention and wellness. Thank you so much for being a leader in the community and telling women, don't be scared, get your heart checked out. And, you know, people can live a long time with heart disease. They just have to get it diagnosed and treated. Thank you for the gift that you are giving to the women in this community. We will be a healthier community. Our women will be healthier. They will be knowledgeable. They will take good action because of your gift. My hope is that as the years go on that more and more women are reached and that they have the opportunity for the assessment and the education to just have a better heart health life.